welcome back to Ocarina Time. We're Adult Link once again. Woohoo. Yay, we're gonna go digging. And we're gonna whistle <laughs> while we work. <laughs> I hope. Patrick, what are you doing? I that's hope. not that's not how you whistle, Riku. <laughs> <laughs> Can't I, can, I can't there. whistle to save my life. Me this neither. Is how I sound when I whistle. And that's me. And that's me sucking in. To whistle. Now that now that everybody's clicked off the video by now with all the whistling happening, we 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 we've been watching. Hopefully, we've been and, watching. And hopefully that didn't didn't trigger Disney's alarms. No. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, we, we just, whoa, whoa. We're just we're just playing. Look, we, guys, the bridge is fixed. Oh, oh thank goodness they did their job. Hooray! Again, we, you know what, I'll just yeah. stop there. But it should be said, ladies and gentlemen, as it's recording, uh, some of us have actually started doing a little Disney marathon on screen. And, well, naturally, we got to start off with, you know, the classic among classics, Snow White and the Seven Gores. I mean, at first I thought it was going to be one of those, like, everyone's only doing this for the sake of obligation. But no, we actually thoroughly enjoyed our time with it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, Celia, are you ever going to take off those gaudy-ass boots? I mean, you've been wearing, you've been, adult like Riku's been wearing those since. In a bit, I will. If you say so. <laughs> this is the Gruda's training ground. Membership card verified. One try for ten rupees. Well, it's just ten rupees to, you know, challenge myself to death. Let's right, do I'll it. Take your ten rupees, give it your best shot. And sorry, I went a little ahead there. Just You're fine. Note for edit just a note for post editing. You're fine. Uh, I, the audio's not off, I just went ahead. You're fine, you're fine. So you, you know this game's been script like the back of your hand, Sealy. So what do we know, so what, I know. So what do we just pay ten bucks to do? Um, Nothing. <laughs> now get out. out. Now get out. If you can overcome the trials in the chambers ahead, then and only then will you be qualified to hold our secret treasure. Now get in my belly. How there are three doors, and I there are three doors. <laughs> one in the one in the center. Defeat all the en enemies in a limited time. Oh, uh -huh. we'll be doing too hard, there. right? And who is and about? Th this is why I'm not taking off the boots because of sand. Uh, oh, oh, I get it. While you have the boot, while you have the boots on, you actually do float above the sand, even if you know you're still yep. technically on the ground. I mean, that's helpful, I guess. But you know, just it's one of those things. Again, I, we brought it up before. Just the big problem with these boots is that you literally have butter butter feet. Yep. And, and it can really be a pain when dealing with with mooks like the Stalfos. Exactly. Yep. But it worked, and we got a key. It works. Trust me. Trust me. You know. I I hate this room so much. I know Breath of the Wild technically. Gather. Hang on. Gather the jewels of white while avoiding traps and danger. Kind I know danger. Breath. A, a joke I had in mind, and I'm and I'm actually glad that Breath of the Wild did it. I would like if there would be like them. occasions where anytime Link will kick the chest open, there's a chance where if he kicks it, he accidentally stubs his toe, and he's like, "Ow!" Oh yeah. <laughs> it's most apparent when you're not when you're not really wearing anything at all. Yep. Or you know you're just barefoot. Yeah. Doesn't he always do do it when he bare, when he's barefoot? I yeah. think so. Because he has nothing to protect to, to protect his tootsies. Ugh. I hate those boulders. I mean, God forbid he ever gets splinters on his toes. Yeah. Ah, splinters! I just imagine like you know what that could be how they enhance the realism for the next game like oh that was bs i was yep. about to say maybe that's how they can enhance it and enhance all the realism for the next game like anytime link has like stuff that on his foot he like in he instinctively just walks slowly just because you know like whenever you have like something hurting your foot you always kind of like s walk slow and carefully because you don't want to like accidentally like push it further with like the force against the ground i know yeah, absolutely you know... Okay, this is bothering me. Where was that from again? Ah, Splatter! That's Aunt Eddie. You know, when Eddie slaps Plank in the oh, pilot. Oh, that's right. I was I was thinking... I've been watching so much Spongebob lately. I'm like, that's not Spongebob. Well, it's there... something else. Oh, yeah, it's Aunt Eddie. Well, there is well, an episode of Spongebob called The Splendor, and it's disgusting. Yeah, I, kn I know. That episode's disgusting, but I'm just like... I, I, re I remember Splatters, and I'm like, where was that from again? That was like the pilot episode, wasn't it? Yeah, yes. it was. It, it was where... Oh, yeah! It's where everyone it, everyone thought someone was stealing their stuff, only it turns out that everyone was just misplacing them. Without the necessary items, one will be confounded by impossible mysteries. So, bring out the lens? Aye. Big, big words for a children's game. That's also, well, dude, like, even, like, in the, even in Link to the Past, like, they had, like, omniscient, like, they had all these, like... And I think in Link to the Past, they had the word omniscient for omniscient golden power. Like, it, they were definitely trying to, like, challenge what... You know, people looked at children's games with. Yeah, and then yeah. and then every other every once in a while I keep forgetting that curse technically not a not a swear word. 
No, it because ain't. I know Nintendo Her. tends to use it on occasion with their games. You what, wait, wait, what, what was Cur, it? like you dreadful cur. Oh yeah. It sounds like a curse word, yet it's not. Nah. I can do it, guys. I can do it. You cow a bully cat and cur. She's trying There's to memorize. She's trying wall. to. Me she's trying to memorize it. Oh, uh, there it is. Okay, yeah. Oh, screw oh, the okay. lens. Screw the lens. I have. I have. Um. I have twenty twenty vision. Memorization on my side. <laughs> well, 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 not just that, but she also has foresight. That too. That too. Because mm -hmm. you know she's been playing this game like this again. She had to redo One this game. One with silver pretty... hands shall move a giant block, and you know what that means. Well, it's a good thing you have that stuff. Have those silver gauntlets pre-installed. Yep. Yep. So don't come. Don't bother coming here until you got them. Yep. I mean, you technically you don't have to do this room, but it makes things easier. Do fair it, enough. It, it, get, it gives you an extra key that you could use. Did you just hear a scrunch right, right? The, oh God! Oh, oh it's God. a like, it's a like, like party. Die! Yeah. Oh, and they're all. Oh, that's right. They're in, during some attacks, they're pretty much invincible. I just realized too. Like What's the up? sad part is, it's a like, like party, but even they know they know a thing or two, thing or two about you know social distancing. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> I mean, look at them. Ooh, would it would be there are those pancakes. I, I think the base is their weakness. Uh, maybe. I think. Oh, it's oh, hard to tell where their hitbox is. Because they're odd, they're undulating so rapidly. <laughs> also, it's I funny don't... you do. Uh, honestly, hype it all. Also, it's funny that you actually bring up, call them pancakes. So that he has, you know, like aside from this game, yeah, every other appearance they make, they do look like a snap, snap of flapjacks. Yeah. God forbid you run into the variety that that fake themselves out as uh, rupees on the floor. Oh, dude, oh, yeah, I hate those. I hate those ones in Minish Cap. And uh, like the two worlds brought them back as well. Oh yeah. I, no, oh you right. oh God. ruby likes. Yeah, yeah the, the ruby, ruby likes. likes. Oh yeah, there were four, there was actually Force Gem likes and Force Swords Adventures, and that they were annoying. Well, they pretty much cut from the same cloth. Just replaced the the, for, the rupees with Force Gems. There was not only that, but the the giant like the one eyed giants. Oh, the, oh, oh kinda... the, um, the, there's a name for them. The bomb chuckers. Yeah, the high knocks, the high knocks, that's it. Yeah, so a high knocks would grab you, and then you would, you would just start pouring force gems out of you, and then Tingle would just come Oh, they were, ow! Oh, it was a mimic. That was, yeah, th gotta watch out for those ones. Just, yeah, no, I remember yeah. the high knocks being really fucking devastating in Four Swords Adventure, at least from what I saw, from the playthrough I saw by uh, Johnny and, um, Derek. Mm. Yeah, and there's, wrecked, there, wrecked there's one part where, out of them. Yeah. <laughs> there's one part where there's a lot of them, but you can go inside like one one of the caves and you can get a I think it was a quake medallion. Oh yeah, it was a quake medallion. Like that, that's the part where they struggled the most because they were just right up their asses. Yep, and then once you use the quake medallion, they would all just turn into little jellies. Why can't Hydox be more like the little, like the little guy that constant, constantly pleads for you pleads for you to just go to go away in exchange for rupees? Get out of here, yeah. get out of here. Don't tell anybody you're here. The kind of thing. Blind everyone. the eyes of the statue. Although this it, one could get kind of annoying. A bit. But um, honestly, it is funny too, though, because if you do, if you haggle him for far, far a little too much, and it is actually randomized, he will go into an enraged state and be all, Give me back my rupees! And he, he literally <laughs> chases you throughout <laughs> the rest of the game. Like at very random intervals. Oh jeez! You know, oh, I geez. I'm really curious as to how random it is because I just imagine like if you're at Endgame facing Gandorf, then all of a sudden, baby, burn my ruby. That would be such poor timing, but In no, I don't think I don't the think fight. they do that. They I think they they only they only have him appear in certain portions of the uh, overworld. I want to point out real quick that you can't play the Scarecrow song while you're down here to get back up on that ledge. It will not register. You have to play it while you're up there. Yeah. To summon well, him and then jump down like a repelling point. Jeez, okay. Well, yep. here's, hope, here's hopefully here's hoping that hindsight doesn't screw you over there. I hope not. Yeah. Otherwise you got a long trek ahead of you. So are we done yet? Are we nope, done not yet? even close. Are nice. we done yet? We st we're halfway done now. You finish those oh errands? Gosh. You finish those errands? Gosh. Yes, SpongeBob. Shield, you never told us this whole thing was gonna last the entire part. <laughs> it's a, it, it is a long fortress, especially if you want to go through everything. And by the way, now, whatever did happen, whatever did happen to old, whatever whatever happened to old pretty and beaky in the sand. Moving on, I was going to say technically. Find secret passages. I was going to say technically. Also, so sorry. I realized that those sounds I make are probably not too appealing now. Um, ah, it's a trademark at this point, dude. Don't, yeah. don't, don't, don't think too much of it. Yeah. So. I'm sorry to have it every time I get hit to say ow. I know, it's okay. So, come on. Uh, I, mean, if, I mean, if we really wanted you to stop, Seely would have said so, like, a long time ago. 
Most likely. Or one of so, us would. So, yeah. see, so, technically, if CD wanted to be, like, super pro at this, she could also show off the fact that you actually don't need to get all the keys in the dungeon to clear this place. You don't, but, it, like, like I said, it makes things easier. Well, because, like, the idea is that you, there's actually... The whole point... The whole point that we're doing this is think of this entire dungeon as like a three by three grid and in the very center is a giant room with a massive amounts of locked doors and aha a massive amounts of locked doors but there's an actually another entrance you can enter it where if you enter the wrong door you'll end up using two extra keys that you don't need yeah you know in hindsight you know now that i stop to think about it if there was ever a chance that we ever got the, got another remake for ocarina in time i could totally see them shoehorning that whole Dungeon Maker thing from Link's Awakening and apply it to this uh, whole. Yeah. I would love to see that, honestly. I would too, though. I think they do, like if they ever do decide to bring back the whole Zelda Maker thingy, they de need to go a little deeper than just being able to plop certain sections of a room into certain portions of your grid. Yeah. I kind of hate this room. I'm going to tell you that right now. What was I it? Uh, the Gotti shoes. Oh, I don't know if I already told you, James, but you remember that uh, we were talking about this earlier, and by the time this goes out, the game will hopefully be out, and Ubisoft will safely allow it, even though I still agree with Wooly that they should have kept their mouths shut until tomorrow when the game comes out, uh, Friday, June 8th, June 19th. Uh, Rayman Redemption, uh, they're actually planning, James, on creating a uh, Rayman-level creator to go along with it in, the late, in a future update. Actually, this... I mean, I, I hope they do, considering the fact that, you know, like... For the P like the PC community for Rayman really got that in stride with that whole Rayman designer thing that Ubisoft uh, released. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say I could have Ubisoft did kind of make their own official Rayman maker. This is the part I hate. Hmm. What's this part? See, I press the switch and I have to get over to that rupee that was. See that ring of fire that just. Oh, the ring of fire was around the rupee. Yeah. Oh. Alright. I gotta get over. I gotta get over there quickly. Well, that ain't quickly. Roll. Roll, yeah, bitch, so. roll. And it could still it could still spawn between like the frame where the cutscene finishes playing and that where you have control of them. Now, if you void out, will it still count all the rupees as being collected? Yes. Nothing. Well, uh, really... um, um, uh, unless you didn't collect all of them. Right. And we yeah. got And we got to do it again. Well, it's a good thing you're wearing your your Zora tunic at the moment. Mm -hmm. yep. Are you ever gonna switch? Are you gonna switch out of that thing? It's, it's anytime soon. It's starting to stink. No. <laughs> not. I just love the thing. No. Mm -mm. I like blue. Well, I, well, actually, there is one more time I'm switching to. Switch here, how about... And maybe, maybe one more or two more times. Here, how about we talk about an interesting thing that's actually quite interesting about the uh, Master Quest version of this game, which we will not be doing. See, um, I am tempted to do a look at of it, if only just... I mean, I mean if you want to do a look at it, James, on the 3DS, go ahead. I mean, I'm, I'm going to look into it. It's just that I need to beat the game again first. <laughs> but I was gonna say uh, one interesting thing that I'm curious to, is uh, well, I'm curious to like get everyone's opinion on, or at least Celie's is in Master Quest. How did the whole block of time thing work in Master Quest? You mean the Song of Time blocks? Yeah, the Song of Time blocks. They were a nightmare in Spirit Temple. Well, tell them why you had to find all these blocks of time. Because there's a box on top of them, and you have to manipulate the the blocks to. From all over the game, but from all from all over the game, mind you. Yep, you have to manipulate these blocks to move a box where where it needs to be on a switch. And Spirit Temple was the worst with that. Mm. Very sneaky positioning. They call it Master Quest for a reason. Yep. Yeah, although it's it's funny. it is honestly it's just funny to me that all like of all the changes that this whole thing ever made, it was only with the dungeons. Yeah. Oh, except hello. in three, except in the three DS version, everything's mirrored. Which was like the only other change they really made. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you ever but, think there's a chance that the box would just kind of like break upon falling? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I feel like that's something that could happen in Breath of the Wild. Mm -hmm. yeah. Possible, like with the wooden chests. Yay, six keys. Oh you know, gosh, we probably finally. have enough keys to make a key ring. I hope so. <laughs> Back. Don Quixote? Oh, that's a stretch. Why are you rid of that one? I'm I'm counting the keys on my key ring on my car keys here, and I have three. I got my car key, I got my house key, and I got my mailbox key. I, you know, I understand. I understand if they if they probably wouldn't be able to release House of Mouse. Is that a Denalfos? It's a Denalfos. Oh, so huh. But um, anyway, what was I about to say? I wouldn't be surprised if they actually if they aren't able to put House of Mouse on the surface. But I mean, if they could at least get the Mickey Mouse works related stuff, like just the shorts in general, like <laughs> I'd be I'd be very grateful for that. I I, I, mean, I, I, I guess we I should mean, talk about this. Is this our first time finding a Denalfos? Yes. Oh, there's two of them. Oh gosh. Yep. 
Oh god, I mean, Seely, we're fighting lizard men. Yeah. I was ah, about, he's I was stuck. About, oh no, he's stuck. I was about to say, like... <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get him to come up. Oh, yeah. there he is. Go I ahead. was about to say, I would honestly consider that a half victory, James, because let's be blunt here. Pretty much half of House of Mouse was just reruns of the Mickey Mouse works. I mean, yeah. Nothing wrong with that, really. Mm -hmm. oh. I should have uh, deflected that first. I mean, at the end of the day, so long as they at least get the shorts out, even if some of them were exclusive to House of Mouse, then I'd be yeah. fine. Do right. All right, here's our... Here's our uh, the last one. Mickey! Almost. It's not quite the last one yet. But y you'll see what I mean. I do know that, like, as far as Disney Plus goes, they have been, like, working hard to get, like, some particular big ones. Like, I know that... Not right at the time of recording, but kind of a recent edition. They recently put uh, the Jim Hem the what was it? the Jim Henson show Dinosaurs on it. I really oh. want now. I just really want the, all the original Muppets. Still not our last key yet. I, I feel like it has. To, I feel like it's pretty much an inevitability at this point. At some point or another, there's just I understand there's a bunch if of. If you desire to acquire our hidden person. treasure, you must strive to obtain the keys hidden. In I this would key. watch every freaking episode with you, hype. I want to watch the original Muppets. Oh, I, I want to experience that. I know. Me too. I feel like they'd probably do the movies first before they do Muppet Show. Oh, well, they already they already got a majority of the movies on there, like the original oh. and uh, the uh, the uh, caper. Hmm. Which, I know Ali and Matt hated it. I still really liked Great Muppet Caper. I like, I liked it. I mean, I could, I mean, I could sort of sympathize with the fact that the villain was just, you know, blatantly, you know, a villain. Well, honestly, mm -hmm. I don't mind it so much, if only in the sense of, like, the Muppets don't usually take themselves that seriously to begin with, so why right, should Right, and, and that's why I didn't give it that much shit. Though I can agree they could have given them a little more substance. Oh, guys, here it is. Though to be but fair, like it... you're not really for those that really oh. watch the movie, that love the movie, it's not because of the villain; it's because of well everything else. Hmm. Here's our uh, if I can open the freaking chest. Here's our last key. Finally, Yay. now we got Mickey. Wow, was this all? Was that all this is building up to? Was a Mickey joke? Gave him a heart. Gosh. Gosh. Wow. You guys upset? Like, goofy, it's okay, dude. Actually, speaking of keys, uh, thoughts on that Kingdom Hearts rhythm game that's coming out? I'm down. I'm cautiously I'm... optimistic, but I'm down. My my thing is basically, so Square finally decided to not only take a piece of that auto runner pie, but downgrade it into an auto healthy jog. <laughs> it's just I. <sighs> I, I, I mean, it's not an auto runner, by the way. It's a music. It's, it's more like Harmo Knight, which I don't know if we ever did the look. I would love to do something. I Harmo haven't Knight. done. We haven't done that one yet, but yeah, I wouldn't mind showing that one off at some point or another. It's a really nice game, and I love. I love a good rhythm game. I love a good rhythm game with good rhythmic syncing. Show the treasure. Yeah, and I mean, honestly, yeah, you, said, you, you bring that up about auto runners. I, I think the, the like the rhythm genre is like the only thing that one that can really get away with that kind of ice thing. Arrows. Ice arrows. Ice arrows. And, and I agree. And I, your target, that. it will freeze. And I agree with James. Like I think auto running, like it, you'd have to have it auto running because that's the this arrow magic is granted only to, to those who complete the difficult train of the Grudo. So use it with pride. Hooray. And it's actually going to be useful for us with our next uh, for our next boss. Awesome. Which is good yeah. considering the fact that everywhere else it is completely optional. Yeah, and and to, and to really quick sum up before you know the next part is that I agree with James and that an auto runner is probably the best way to go about it in terms of like convenience with programming because as a designer once you can like once you can outright guarantee what speed your character is moving at then that's how you can plan around the rhythm of the game and how it affects it because like if you if you think about it. Like one of our favorite rhythmic bosses, Ms. Ruby in Sly Cooper 1. The whole thing is an auto runner because that's the best way they could like time out you jumping and stuff to all the attacks. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, but technically, Rayman, technically, and technically with Rayman, like, sure, it's not an auto runner, but they usually have something right behind you saying, no, if you're not constantly running, you're going to die. Honestly, the uh, music levels in Rayman Legends may as well have been auto runners for all I care. They really actually now that I in think the about next it. Part. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Sorry. Next part, we will we will ta fo properly tackle the Spirit Temple. I'm sorry. It's just you guys were starting to get off get track. Get them I'm shovels. Okay, I, 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 I gotta get, uh, get everyone back on track. <laughs> break Fine. out. The, we're break nerds. Out, break out the coats uh, and the shovels. Till next time, guys. Right, see, bye bye.